Here are the notes from uh, chapter 2.2, part B. This is uh, PVA, or Position Velocity Acceleration Notes. Uh, let's start off with talking about instantaneous velocity. Uh, instantaneous velocity is simply, or uh, V of t of an object, is simply the derivative of the position function, s of t, with respect to time. So if we start off with uh, a given function, a position function, uh, position function will, uh, if we give it a time, in return, uh, it'll give us the height or the location of that object. Okay? And if we find the derivative of that position function, then we're, gonna ha we're going to get instantaneous velocity, or v of t. You can also write it as s prime of t. And think of velocity as just the rate of change or the slope of the position function. And that is why uh, the derivative of position function leads us to the instantaneous velocity. Okay. Now, if we're at the velocity function, we can find the derivative once again, and that will lead us to the acceleration function. And acceleration function is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. Okay. You can think of this as the rate of change of velocity is acceleration. Right. Now, uh, average rate of change, average rate of change uh, from A to B is equal to the slope of the secant line, f of B minus f of A over B minus A. Okay. Uh, however, average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change, um, they're both talking about slope but the way that uh, we go about finding uh, average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change um, can be very different. Okay. Average rate of change is just the slope uh, between endpoints, but the inst instantaneous rate of change is the exact slope of the tangent line to the curve. Okay. So for instance, if I want to find the average slope between my endpoints A and B, okay. uh, this will be the steepness between two endpoints, uh, but that may be very different from finding uh, the slope at a specific point on the curve. Okay. Uh, so whenever you're asked to find the instantaneous rate of change, you're going to, if it's a curve, you're going to be going through the derivative because you want to find the exact slope at a point. But if they ask you for the average rate of change, or some, uh, many times you'll see average velocity, then you're going to be finding the ordered pairs. You're going to find the, lo the physical location of your, uh, of your um, points, of your endpoints, of your position function and you're going to find the slope. Okay. Uh, speed is simply the absolute value of the velocity function, or uh, absolute value of the velocity value. Okay. Displacement is how far you are from where you started, and distance is simply how the total amount that you have traveled. So for instance, uh, if um, I travel 10 feet to the right, and then turn around and travel 3 feet back, then my total distance is 13 feet because I've traveled 10 plus 3, 13 feet. However, my displacements, or uh, the distance from your starting to your endpoint, is simply going to be 7 feet. Okay, since we went to the right uh, 10 feet and then we came back 3, so we only made a forward progress of 7 feet. So that is displacement. Uh, increasing speed and decreasing speed. Increasing speed occurs when velocity and acceleration have the same signs. So either positive, positive, or negative, negative, uh, that would indicate that your speed is increasing. Uh, decreasing speed occurs when velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. So you can have positive, negative, or negative, positive. Uh, uh, both those situations would indicate decreasing speed. Okay. Uh, an example of this would be 
if someone were to throw a ball up in the air. Uh, now, as the ball is moving uh, up, um, velocity has direction, so velocity will be positive. However, because of the, uh, the force of gravity, as soon as uh, the ball is thrown up, the, um, or thrown up in the air, uh, acceleration was going to start decreasing. So as soon as uh, the ball is thrown up, the uh, speed begins to decrease um, uh, until it reaches a velocity of zero. Okay. So here, velo uh, velocity is positive, but acceleration is negative, and the opposite signs will indicate decreasing speed. Okay. Uh, and then as the ball begins to fall, uh, it'll, um, the velocity will, um, uh, will be negative because it's going in a negative direction. And acceleration is also going to be negative. Um, uh, it'll be picking up um, speed, but it's going to be in the negative direction. And so here we see we have uh, velocity and acceleration being both negative, and you can visualize the ball is going to in, um, have increasing speed uh, as it begins to fall. Okay. Some notes about particle motion. Particle motion or linear motion uh, describes the object moving along a line, usually along a horizontal line. Uh, sometimes you may see x of t representing position function. V of t for velocity, A of t for acceleration. Uh, positive velocity indicates that the particle is moving in the positive direction, usually to the, usually to the right, uh, especially if we're moving along the x-axis. Uh, negative velocity, uh, this is when the particle moves in the negative direction, usually to the left. And when V of t is equal to zero, this indicates that the particle is at rest. So if we want to find out when the particle is at rest, we would find the velocity function, we would set equal to zero, and that would indicate the point when the object has stopped and not moving. Okay, next video I will uh, go over um, uh, uh, examples on the back page.